Hi everyone, this is Brenda with Workshop Scraps by Brenda and here with a project share. Um, I'm in the process of designing and creating for my Valentine gift baskets and wanted to show you some things that I'm working on and um, how I usually start my projects is um, I come up with an idea, a theme, and then a tag and then I kind of work the basket so the work the gift item around it. So we're going to start with, let's see, there. I can't say I have a favorite because I like them all, but we'll start with this tag. And um, of course you can see this is a Tim Holtz um, dress form die and um, just a little bling or charm for my stash. And then I tried out some, um, I believe this is texture paste um, with a um, stencil or brick wall pattern stencil. Initially I thought this would be like a kind of a guy thing tag but one thing led to another and it's kind of a girl thing tag even though it's black. So just kind of look at it and some um, gel pen stitching and some tool. And on the tag is um, chipboard that I cut with my paper cutter and then I have a um, edger. Uh, uh, I have a edger punch that cuts this corner. I believe it's about EK success, but I made my tags. I made about 30 tags out of chipboard, so then when I get ready to kind of design my painted some with chalkboard and just see how it turns out, but that's the tag. And then in each of my gift baskets, I'm going to give um, some note cards. And the note cards won't be specifically Valentine's. The note cards will be the color thing will be the same, but you can use them throughout the year um, um, for the gift basket. And they won't be to a particular group, so they won't be like teachers or moms. or it, They'll just be some kind of generic, pretty um, note cards. But this is the box, and this is a um, box that I designed on the Cameo Silhouette. And... And it's black cardstock, and if you can see the details of it, it's pretty layered with um, you know embellishments. This idea I got off of YouTube for this teeny tiny banner, um, and I have to put the name of the person's site, um, Tanya Gibbs, that's her name, um, on YouTube. She does a lot of mixed media, which I am fascinated by, and I watch her channel a lot, and... Um, you might want to check her out. Even though I don't do a lot of mixed media, but she had this little um, banner that she used, and I did the same thing. I used the Martha Stewart doily punch here, and you just cut it into small sections and stamped it with some letters, and you might be able to see the sheen. I'll turn a little bit. Used a glitter pen and... Um, this is just um, a plain white doily that I cut and edged and inked and um, just little embellishments. A little handmade stamp with this heart. And this heart is actually um, hot glue. Um, silicone mold and then I put some hot glue in it and um, used uh, ink, um, alcohol ink to color it. So just, just little things. Sometimes I tinker around in my craft room and save these little... Uh, pieces that I create and put them on. So I thought that turned out pretty cute, and that's the box. And then they each get one of these um, nice size boxes, and this is the Sizzix box number two die, I believe. It's a steel ruled die, and um, just some 110 cardstock, and just create it. And it will hold a lot. If you look inside the box, it will hold a lot. And this is about. I want to say four inches wide. It might be a little bigger. Four and almost three fourths wide and two, three and a half inches deep, long. Yeah. And then it's two inches deep. So it holds lots of goodies. And I usually put my biggest items in here or or I'll put, um, you know, something that's really a great treat that you know you can't stop eating or using in here. These are good for, like, lotion boxes, hand sanitizer boxes. And, of course, they have matching tissue paper. And I usually crinkle, not crinkle, use an edge cutter to cut the edges of tissue paper, like a scallop, to make it look, you know, fancy, cute. All right, so those are really cute. I like them. And, and they just got different embellishments on them. 
to match them up. And of course, if you can see, let me see if you can see, this is a background stamp that I stamped the doily on for both the boxes. Uh, yeah, for both the boxes, just to kind of make it not so plain white and um, different ways of cutting up the doily to embellish the box and some faux stitches with gel pen. Okay, then I have this tag. And it's interesting how it came about, but I had I cut several of the Tim Holtz um, dress forms and used some um, crepe paper to make the skirt. And this started out being rosette ribbon, and I inked it and dried it, and now it's more like a I won't say fur, but um, it has an interesting texture. I like it, and these are just some pearl um, silver. Um, beads with, um, and in between them I don't know if you can see them try to get closer there's some glass beads in between clear crystal and of course that's the doily die and it's been embossed with um, it's been embossed with a cutterbuck folder I have to look at it something, something about love but it has hearts I'm going to see if I can angle it where you can see the hearts Ooh, don't know. It's such a shimmer on it. Homemade glimmer mist um, that I use. And I'm surprised you can see the shimmer because most times you can't on video. But I want you to be able to see the hearts. And hopefully you can see them. They're tiny hearts in here. And then it's sprayed with glimmer mist. And I also splattered it with some, um, I believe, latex paint. Um, like off-white latex paint. Just diluted it and kind of put big drops. Let them fall on the paper and let that all dry before I actually... Glimmered it and let it dry and then punched it. So that's cute. And then you can see the little banner again. And I'm going to put some either little love letters or something on there. Or I may leave it plain. And then on each tag, this is actually um, a circle punch um, for paper. And then another, I use a regular hole punch or a crop it out hole punch and punch it. And then um, once I glued it on, I use glossy accent to give it a shine so it looks like a grommet. But it's not a grommet, it's paper. And, of course, that's the back. Oh, let me show you this. This is actually the back. Plain cardstock. And um, when I make my tags or cards, this is shelf liner. And I just use that to protect it. So until I'm actually done, because I may never know, get another layer I did upon here. I put this on the back to protect it so it's all clean and white. Or whatever color, natural. Right now, that's just natural color. Cardstock. Not cardstock. Chipboard. All right, so that's that tag, and this is the box that goes with it, and this is a um, bingo card, and I wanted something that didn't say love or, you know, romance. I wanted it with a Valentine theme, but not necessarily for Valentine's, because it's not just about, you know, um, couples, I think, it's for, you know, people you love and um, who you want to be nice and sweet and share your heart with, so um, I want my um, items to kind of be generic in that sense. Okay, and then um, this is a image that's, I don't know if you can see, it's a rose, and it's very detailed. Um, it was a Google image that I um, printed onto cardstock and high resolution. And these are some um, sick flower leaves um, that I cut and kind of layered under there, and um, um, seam binding that I have in like a mauve color and made my own spray and colored it with some alcohol ink and um you can still you may be able to see that background script stamp on that doily and if you can even tell it's a doily but that's a doily and then some bling and edges of a heart punch and that's a Martha Stewart punch and it's also on the edge of this box and it's the this one perfect for Valentine's and what I like about it so much is big punches a, a whole row edge punch and then I usually I cut up the edge I spritz them and paint them and ink them and change them to different colors and I have a whole basket of pieces that I use to make those but what I like about it is you get the the hearts the actual hearts so they're teeny ones and medium sized ones that I save and they're perfect for these kinds of projects so I think that's like a, a dual purpose punch okay now um and I haven't created the actual big box for this, but it'll be on this kind of thing. Okay, last, not really last, but last for this video is this tag. Kind of simple. 
Let's see if I can focus. You see all of the sheen. And this is a image um, that I downloaded from Google. And I used the Cameo Silhouette sketch pens to sketch it onto a card. Of course, I had to reshape it and change the size and all that. But it says love. And then I wanted it sort of simple. And this is just a um, gathered ribbon trim. And then over layer it with another trim, which is... Um, it's like a velvet kind of ribbon inside of this scrolly string. <laughs> but I'll put it close. It's really, really pretty. Give it more of an antique look. And then layer that on top of um, some uh, metallic rick rack um, ribbon. And so I think it's pretty. Of course, you see the glimmer and the glam. And just the areas on the sketch that had these little circles, I put the bling in. The red bling. So that's the rhyme and reason to why, how they're sporadically placed. And then this is the doily punch peeking through right under this top layer. And then I ink the edges with chalk ink, white ink, and another one of those paper grommets, um, metallic paper to match, kind of match the trim at the bottom and then the bling. And then you can see this heart embossing folder a little better here. I think, yeah, you see it? Pretty. This is the card box that I have to go with it. And I just put the cards in. I haven't made the envelopes or anything. There'll, there'll be about five cards with envelopes that I'll need to make. But this is a doily. You can tell it's a doily. And it's been inked, stamped. This is washi tape. And um, this is sequin trim that I have. And I thought that was just a perfect little ending to this box. And the doilies rolled over to um, show a um, brad. That's a heart-shaped brad for the box. And just ink the edges. All right. Now, here is the big box. And I'm trying to, sorry about the glare, but I'm going to tilt it and try to bring it up so you can see it. How about that? All right. So, you've got the sequin trim around the edge. Got the doily, um, the, and to, actually the, the entire box I stamped with the background stamp with a kind of a pink. I want to say it's um, spun sugar distress ink. I believe that's what that is. <clears throat> then I used Tim Ho's dis, um, distress ink to color the doily, and just cut the edge of the doily and put it on an angle. But those little hearts that come from the Martha Stewart punch are here, and they've been. Um, covered with glossy accent to give them a shine and then this is a Sizzix, not Sizzix, um, Spellbinder die and it comes with a pair of wings and a crown and I thought initially I would just do the heart with the wings but it, the crown worked well so it's got glossy accent on it and some stickles, red stickles like candy apple red stickles. Hopefully you can see it. Now this heart, I covered it with this dimensional paint from my stash. 2015, I hope, will be my year of use what I have. Because I have so much. And so um, I'm, I'm getting excited about it. Trying to create my own sprays and mixes. And um, we'll see how well I do for the year. But... I've had this for a long time. I'm not even sure if they sell this brand anymore, but it's 3D Paints by Scribbles. It's Crystal Gel Sparkle. And what I wanted was just, and I also have that on the tag, along with my homemade glimmer mist, but I wanted something dimensional, and I wanted something white. And then when it dried clear, I thought, oh my, can't wait to use it again. So that's what I used on the heart. No glitter, just that. Um, 3D paint and you see how much it shines and so this um, is a this is an embossing folder heart from Cutabug tiny little I think 2x2 two two embossing folder and what I did is I used it on um, cardstock and then cut out the heart um, fussy cut the heart out ink the heart put the 3D paint on and when it dried um, the love that was on the embossing folder I just covered it with stickles I love it. This may be my favorites. See that trim again, layered. And then this, this heart edge along the box. Let's see, sorry. There you are, the heart edge along around the side of the box. is from the punch, the edge punch. 
and um as you see the box itself let's see is um has background stamp so if you have any questions please let me know thank you so much for watching my videos and look forward to showing the pro progress from when i actually create the gift baskets and show them to you so um feel free to leave a comment and again thanks for watching bye